Hey guys, Kirk from the Forever Homestead. Uh, so this is like supposed to be a roofing day, but it's pouring outside. Um, thunderstorms have moved in, so I'm kind of hiding out in the pump house right now because, well, it's dry and it needs to be cleaned up. And I thought, I haven't done the solar video yet on the pump house, so I can give you a little bit of a tour uh, and show you some of the stuff we got going on here. So let me flip the camera around and I'll show you up. Okay, so there's still some cleanup that needs to be done, but basically, um, let me walk out here. So on the roof, we have four uh, 100 watt panels. The panels are from Windy Nation on this on this array, and I don't I don't really want to bash anyone. Um, but I'm not as happy with the panels on the pump house as I am uh, on the array at the back by the bunkie. Um, that, the bank back there has one less battery um, and I never seem to run out of power. The, 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 the bank, the battery bank is always at float. Um, yeah, the, the, the system back there is spectacular. These panels up here, they just don't produce the same power as the um, as the other ones. But, you know, that being said, let me go through the, the systems here and I'll show you what we've got going on. Uh, the four panels on the roof, they come down uh, into this fuse holder right here. Uh, and then from there, it goes down into the shutoff. That shutoff there basically kills the power to the entire system. So once the, or the, at least the PV input. Um, so if you turn that off, the power gets the, gets shut down to the system. Well, from there, it actually comes down. Uh, it's kind of built as a countertop here. Um, you can if you if you look around there, like it. This is going to be the the greenhouse as well um, for starting our seeds and stuff like that in the spring. But it's built as a countertop. This backspace here. Um, this it's a sealed box. Again, not completed yet, but. Uh, if you open this up, so inside the battery box here, uh, we have the inputs are coming down from the top. They come into here. So here's the, uh, or sorry, they go into the into the charger, the charge controller. Um, the wiring needs to be cleaned up a little bit there. I was doing some some tests trying to, like I say, I'm not as happy with this system. So I was trying to see if it was the fault of the charge controller or the panels or whatever it is. Um, the wind is not hooked up. The wind generator is not hooked up yet. That that'll be coming in the in the summer. I just I'm ran out of time for it. Um, so that basically the the panels on the roof charge four batteries. These are the same batteries that we're using in the back. Uh, we use four of them here because we need a 24 volt system. Um, so each so these two are in series. These two are in series. Where are we here? Yeah. So these two are in series, these two are in series, and then the two banks are, are uh, paralleled together to give a little bit more power. Uh, also in here, this is this wire here goes out to our simple pump, uh, 24 volt simple pump system. Um, this, I, I know it's not ideal, especially if this is a garden, but there's not a whole lot of water or anything going on in here. Um, with this closed, with this closed, it's pretty sealed up from dirt and all that kind of stuff. Um, if you notice down in here, there's another, it might be a little dark, down in here there's another breaker, um, or sorry, another fuse, and that fuse runs to this switch. So if you turn that switch, uh, all power to the inverter gets turned off. Um, this inverter is a 3000 watt or sorry, um, a fifth. Sorry, th uh, three thousand watts at the back. This is a fifteen hundred watt inverter, uh, pure sine wave. So you don't have to worry about it ruining your electronics or motors or anything like that. Um, they're they're a little bit pricey, but um, it, right now it's running a lot. This is our, you know, up at the main part of the house around the barn. If you've watched any of our other videos and saw running the power tools, table saws, chop saws, all that kind of stuff. This inverter is actually the one that's running it all. 
it, it runs pretty well. Uh, right now, you can see it's, you know, the, the power, I don't know if you can actually see that or not. The power is at 24 volts, um, 24.7, it's still inputting. This is kind of one of those things, you know, it's at 24 volts, but yet today was a beautiful sunshine day. Those batteries should be completely topped up. We should be at float, but for some reason they're not. Um, I'm going to wait to get the wind hooked up and see if that does anything different, but basically I'm not very impressed with the, the windy or the, uh, the eco, eco worthy system. Um, anyway, the tour, uh, the other stuff on this wall, uh, we've got our alarm system, kind of the insurance company gave us a big discount if we have that on. Um, and then I've started wiring and that's a phone panel there. We've got all of our data connection stuff here. Uh, behind the water here is the, um, that's our home automation system. Uh, Nikki is the name. Uh, you'll start, there'll be a whole, there'll be a whole bunch of videos on our home automation system, but that's the start. Uh, and basically that is just running. Um, it, it ties into the alarm. It ties into the video cameras and it allows me to, to monitor stuff from, from home when I'm not here. Uh, other equipment, you know, we've got the PVRs, we've got, or sorry, the, the DVRs for the video cameras, um, you know, to record and, and it dumps into the cloud and, and all that stuff. So, uh, basically it's working for what it's supposed to do. It's, it's running the pump perfectly. Um, the water's all hooked up, uh, and running. I never, I've never run out of power for the, to run the pump. It doesn't draw a lot. So, um, but yeah, that's kind of a quick overview of what we've got going on. Uh, there'll be some more coming up. Uh, it, everything's kind of open here, and <laughs> like I've noticed that, like everything's just covered in sand when it blows. If the doors are open, and I usually leave the doors open when I'm working, so I'm gonna build a cupboard like this. This will be a complete wall to to kind of stop the elements from hitting it. Um, but other than that, you know, the power is doing what it's supposed to be doing. It's charging batteries. It's allowing me to work on on stuff without running generators. So at this point, I'm pretty happy. I'd like the batteries to be, you know, a little bit more topped up than they are, but uh, overall it's, it's, uh, it's doing pretty well. So if you're enjoying these videos, make sure you uh, hit the like button. Uh, if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you subscribe. Uh, there's a lot more coming up between the barn and the house and you know, all the, all, all the animals we're gonna be adding soon. Um, but yeah, that's it. So until the next time, have a good one.